Then I've been in a marriage full of abuse, physically, mentally, psychologically. He was abusing me a lot verbally. And it came to the time that when I want to give back, it would turn to a physical fight. So I went to jail and my crime was domestic violence and child endangerment. Going with social worker, they took me, they took my, they go to my house and ask to see what is happening. But they realized that I've been the one in my daughter's life for so long. I've never hurt my daughter. I've never ever touched my daughter. I've never done anything with my daughter. So the social services cleared that area that my daughter was not in any endangerment. And my probation officer told me that based on my case, they saw that I've been in this country and I'm a US citizen. I've never committed no crime. I've never had any problem with the state. So they will bring my probation to six months instead of the one year. That is God working. So it, she, she told me, what do you want to do now? I said, I'm looking forward to go back to school. I just applied in a Sioux City, Iowa. And uh, if God permitted I have this admission, I would love to go back to school. And she was like, you know, your name is on the crime list, but let's see how it goes. I said, I put it all in God. My daughter and I decided to move on my birthday. That was in August 5th of 2022. I told God, I have to leave. I came to Iowa, to Sioux City that day, my birthday. I didn't know where to go. I saw like six churches, but I don't know how God led me to Sunny Brook Church. I went into the program before I saw a program called Work With Me. I started talking with the director or the manager, Terry. And that is how I came here that day on my birthday with my kids in the car. I didn't even know where I'm going. My landlord, that the house that I took, the guy just like, do you want to stay here now? I said, I can stay, but I don't even have nowhere to sleep with my kids. And I came here and Terry, there was a four mattress waiting for me, air mattress. Terry was like, do you want this mattress? I said, yes, I want. I don't know where I'm going to stay. If I can just have the mattress, then I can stay. I can sleep with my kids. When the landlord gave me that house without even paying the cushion, I just paid the, the little money for the rent. And he told me, you can stay here. So I just believe it was God's doing. I decided to start school. I was afraid because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to go to this school because with nursing, they have to do a background check. And that day, they sent me a letter stating DHS has detected my name in a criminal record. Do you want to explain? And I'm like, oh, here it goes. So I was like, this is it. My dream of becoming a nurse is shattered. But God is God. The same day they gave me that paper to write the reason why my name is in the crime list with DHS, that is the same day my probation officer called me and told me that my probation is being dismissed. And my dismissal is that they have expunged my name from the criminal record. And I wrote the, the, the paper and gave it back to the instructor. And the next day, they told me that my name is cleared. I can continue with my nursing. To go into the nursing school is not easy. It was tough, but I did it. I, I started with the first time with my two girls, with no help. 
just with the help of Hope Center, with the help of these wonderful people here, they provided me with shelter, they provided me with clothes, beds. I'm so happy that this Hope Center made me to have a place of my own so that I can stay with my kids and go to school. That's how I finally went to, to school. I did my first term, and I'm now continuing with my second term to be graduating in May to become an LPN. I've seen the work of God through Sony Brook Church, through Hope Center. They have helped me to become who I am today. They have loved me, they have provided for me with my kids, with my girls. I'm so grateful for them. And I thank God for everything that they have been doing in my life. May God continue to bless Hope Center. May God continue to bless Sony Brook Church. And may God continue to bless everybody that has been the center of my life to make sure I'm able to move on and hope for the better.